time for another whatnot unboxing. We're gonna go ahead and empty. And go ahead and empty. First item that I got is this um, plastic um, leather or fake leather choker. It is in a made in China packaging. The reason I got some of these is it does remind me of Y2K jewelry, which is very popular right now, and so I thought that would be kind of fun to sell. I would think on this particular item, though, it's not very fancy or anything, uh, on the $5 range. A nice new Avenue necklace, retailed originally for $10 or $18, piece that was sent in about $10 range. Very unique type of ring. It would look like it's biting you, it's kind of fun for Halloween. Um, I would say this could go in the $5 to $10 range, and each item I paid about a dollar or so for. No more than that. I was in somebody's, um, show that did not have really anybody else in it. I try to avoid those because then I get sucked into buying more things, but that just happened this time, so yeah, that sometimes can happen. I got a pair of mismatched earrings. I feel like mismatched seems to be a new thing. I ordered something on Amazon that I thought for sure was not a mismatched pair of jewel, uh, things, but it actually was, which is disappointing. I'm not that big of a fan of mismatched, um, but I know it's kind of popular, so I would say about $10 on these earrings. This says that it's genuine lucite, made in Hong Kong. So this is a little bit old. Just some nice beads, little bit, um, a little bit of wear on them but still pretty. Might make a good set with those um, Lucite um, earrings. Let's say about maybe $10 if I did it as a set. Depending, I'll have to look it up. A nice little wooden boho cross. I don't think that's a necklace. I think this is actually a rosary. Um, so maybe in the $10 range, not sure. These, I remember I have some of these of my own downstairs. I did look them up. They were like in the possibly $10 range. These are some vintage hammered gold tone earrings. I think they're pretty nice. They're definitely got a little bit of a longer post on those. Um, I would say in possibly $5 range. And I got these. She wound up having ones that weren't mismatched, but... Obviously, some of these might have been somebody's project girls for now. These are cute. Says Paris Super Jewelry, but I feel like these are very similar to ones that are on Amazon a lot. Probably like a $5 pair. I thought this, oh it is, it's one of those spinner rings kind of thing. So you like wear it and then you, I think, maybe not, thought it was. Well, you can, you can move it around, but it's definitely like more of a chain ring. It's got a little bit of wear or discoloration here. What is the size on this? The size on this ring is, wow, it's actually pretty large. It's a 10, so probably more of a man's ring. I would say with a good cleaning, I would at least say in the $5 range. Here's another little um, princessy type ring. I think it's pretty small. Yeah, this is like a five. Five on that. I would say maybe in the five dollar range. A very cool blue ring. It's not missing any stones. Nice little piece of costume jewelry. It is a size six. I would say in the five dollar range, depending. A vintage um, brooch here from White Stag, which I think is Walmart. 
but it's still vintage and new in the package, so new old stock. I would say possibly in the $10 range. It is a cat pin. Some rhinestone metal bead earrings, kind of cute. Still new. Um, I would say probably in the $5 range. If paired with a necklace of similar material, maybe 10 This was a big ring lot kind of deal. I don't have a lot of rings, but now I do. So I have a little bit of everything at this point. This is a cool little fox ring. It is about a five to six okay. in the five dollar range. These I both uh, tried on earlier. I think they're pretty much a six or a five and a half. This one was cool because it had balloons. It's very different. The little inlaid part with the I think maybe some colored enamel. Not exactly sure. Another one that is also similar with purple colors. So I think both of those would fetch in the $7 range. This one does need some cleaning as well. It's a really cool ring. Thought it was like maybe black interior and maybe for crafting that's something I could do with it. But as of right now it's about a size 7 because actually it's more of a six size six good thing i checked again a fun little enamel ring um it's like a tongue and lips be funny for someone's halloween it does need some cleaning it is a size five i'd say in the five dollar range cute a little um feather ring, size 6, I would say also in the $5 range, maybe more if I could pair it with some earrings. Another little leaf ring, and then this I think is like a light yellow in color, size 6, maybe in the $5 range. Pretty little velvety earrings, a set. Things. I'd say these would also go in the $5 range. A little cameo ring. Very cute. All the stones are there. It is adjustable. It is all unmarked, unnamed brand pretty much. And this is a size 7. So I'd say $5 as well. Here's one of those fun, funky ones. They used to have these a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but like when I was like in high school. So like those rings that um, you can put on several different fingers. I kind of wonder if they stopped making them because they are like um, kind of difficult to get on and off and might get your hand caught on something. I don't know. But everybody's got their own kind of thing. Like you can wear them like that, I would think. So I'll look up how much these cost, but I would think this would be at least in the $7 range. The different sizes are 7, 6, and like 3, but they are all adjustable. Cute faux leather um, necklace. Definitely very plasticky, and definitely, I think, the leather. And it's cute, though. I would say this would go in the 5 to $10 range. Oh, and this might have been a bonus you put in, because these really do match this necklace. So that's kind of a cute little set. Neat. Nice. And one last little snake um, snake uh, ring. That's at a 7 and adjustable, which is nice. 
just feel that adjustable rings are a little bit cheaper, but I guess it's also kind of nice to have too in case your fingers grow. And there's this extra ring here too, also a size 5, very pretty. That's cute. Valued these piles at 5, the silver here at 10, and this is 2, so I'm valuing everything as $162. Um, what I paid for this one I spent was $40.69, but thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.